Welcome to your Tutor Online video lessons. Today I'm going to show you a method for adding and subtracting positive and negative numbers. For example, let's look at negative 9 plus 3. One simple way to tackle this problem is with the number line. We'll go ahead and draw our number line, and we'll start with our point at the first number, negative 9, and then we can just count over 3. 1, 2, 3. So our answer is negative 6. We're going to move to the right for addition and to the left for subtraction. Now the number line method works pretty well with small numbers, but what about big numbers? Say 32 minus 56. Now you could draw a number line and move it 56 times, but this would take forever. Imagine the even bigger numbers like 132 minus 456. Instead, use the method I'm about to teach you. There are two simple rules to remember for this method. Rule 1. If the signs are the same, then add the numbers and keep the original sign. For example, negative 42 minus 15. The signs are the same. The first number is negative and minus 15. We have a negative and a negative. So to put these two together, I'll do 42 plus 15. Don't worry, it doesn't matter that they're negatives. We're just going to add them together for now. 42 plus 15 is equal to 57. Now we keep the original sign, which in this case was negative, and our answer is negative 57. Rule 2. If the signs are different, then subtract. Big number minus little number. Keep the sign of the big number. For an example, we'll have 12 minus 23. We know that 12 is positive because there is not a sign in front of it and whenever there isn't a sign in front of a number, it's positive without it being written. So we have different signs, a positive 12 and a negative 23. 23 is the bigger number, so we're going to do 23 minus 12, which is equal to 11. We're going to keep the sign of the big number, which in this case is 23. 23 is the big number, a negative is in front of the 23, so our final answer will be negative. I want to show you one more example for this rule number 2. Negative 17 plus 92. Again, the signs are different. We have a negative 17, a positive 92. 92 is the bigger number, so we take 92 minus 17 and we get an answer of 75. The big number was 92, and in this case it was positive. So our final answer is positive 75. I won't write the positive sign because when you have a number just by itself, you don't write the positive in front. Okay, so let's review what we went over. First, you can use a number line to solve problems with positive and negative signs move to the right for addition, move to the left for subtraction. A better way though is the method I taught you. If the signs are the same, then add the numbers, keep the original sign. If the signs are different, then subtract. Big number minus little number, keep the sign of the big number. I hope you learned something today. Was this lesson worth a buck? If so, head on over to yourtutoronline.com and click on the donate button to send some change my way. Leave your comments and questions on the blog at yourtutoronline.com. You can also find us on Facebook and become a fan or be the first to review the lessons in iTunes. Or vote for me at podcastalley.com. And be sure to tell your friends where they can find some useful math tips. I will see you next time. Class dismissed.